a while back I got some of this ox beam stuff and here are the pod lights there. I think they look pretty good. It's got a special connector and on that connector we have a wiring harness right here. That's the light bar. So it's a 32 from here and the mount on the other side as well. It's an RGB LED light bar so uh, it can flip-flop colors or we can turn on a, you know different colors. It's probably the main thing that I was going for. This is the six gain switch panel here. And I got this for just like the LED lights on the cart. It's instructions here. And here are stickers that can go onto the six gain switch. And on, here's how this right here works. This is your six gain switch here. You have an on and off button here where you can turn all six on or all six off or you can turn each individually one on or off. So in order to be able to change the different modes and lights and colors and patterns and strobes and all of that, you need to visit the back of the pamphlet here. If you have Android or iOS, scan that with your phone on the camera app. Now, once you do that, you'll basically get a little pop-up here saying view in app store. This is what it looks like. It says, car light and this is going to be on the app here now you have a speed it goes all the way to 100 percent you have exposure white breath this is in the mode section you can go now in the mode selection of the app you can create your own patterns i think one is called gradient one is called jump and one is called strobe i made one on the mode screen that's called police and it flashes red and blue really fast and you can adjust the speed on that as well but let's say you wanted to make one that was blue and green or blue and yellow basically you just put the blue inside the app here then you put the green then once you have it completed you would hit save you could name it and then it would be in the mode app so you could always select it pretty simple you can go into the color section and change whatever color you want to. Another part of the app where you have your light control, you have your brightness down here as well, so you can turn the brightness all the way down, or you can turn the brightness all the way up, like so, or just leave it somewhere like in the middle. It tells you the percentage you're at, as, you know, as far as where the cursor's at as well. I will say, whatever color you're on here, once you switch this back to the regular light bar, which is all white. Then once you go back to the color portion of the switch, it automatically goes back to red. Like so. So in order to change out the amber lens here with the clear lens, just take the provided Allen key that they include in the kit here. Remove the four bolts from the light pods. This outside cover will come off, then this clear cover will come off next, like so. You can place the amber cover in there and then put the outside cover back on. So you can choose which lens you want for your application. This is going to be the clear light turned on. And as you can see, it's pretty much like a spotlight there in the center. Now this is going to be the amber light. If you have a vehicle, a car, a truck, a Jeep, whatever, you would connect this to the main lug of the positive battery. Then you have these two extra wires here. You have a black wire and a red wire. The red wire will go to the ignition switch or the accessory switch. The black wire will go to ground. On our case, the on the golf cart, we're gonna attach both the main positive and the accessory switch to our accessory positive coming off the converter. And the reason why we're doing that is because any of these lights, they're only gonna be able to work when the golf cart's in the own position. We'll attach our ground to our main lug ground coming out the converter as well. So this pigtail here goes to the six gang switches. 
we mounted those switches on our last video in our roof console and um, we just did a, like a hidden mount and since I already mounted it I can't show you here but I'll show you a clip from the last video also when you go to open this box here you'll notice it's got six relays it's got six fuses and you attach each one of your lights or your accessories to this outside uh, panel here. Now, you're going to have to either ground your accessories to the chassis of your vehicle, or you're going to have to run all of your grounds back to the grounding location spot on the converter. And that's what we're going to be doing here as well. Now, as far as installation is concerned, we only have two mounts. One is going to be a circle mount, and the other one is going to be oval. However, we're just going to drill two holes. We're going to mount this down on the driver's side of the golf cart. This is a 12 volt battery. It is a lithium battery for an upcoming project. Okay, so here's the deal. You have your positive, you have your negative. Now, on the aux beam light pods and the headlamp or the 32 inch light bar that I have on this golf cart, everything comes with a switch and a relay and a wiring harness and everything. So how this works is you would actually hook up your positive and negative straight to your battery of your vehicle. There is a fusible link with a fuse inside. You have a relay. You would mount this close to your battery in your automobile. Then you have three extra wires that come off. Two of those wires are going to be for the light pods themselves. This one here and this one here. You're also going to have a switch. This is a lighted switch. So when you turn the light on, this guy shows you this on. When you turn it off, the light doesn't work. Light switch and your light connectors for the light pods are about the same in length and it's around nine to ten feet in length here. So I have both of the light pods connected to the wiring harness which goes to the relay and the battery. I have in my hand the switch here that turns them on and off. That's on and that's off obviously. Here's the tough thing. On our install since we're using their six gain LED uh, light switch and everything is controlled throughout six gain switch. I'm not going to use their wiring harness or their relay since their six gain switch already has the relays built in with the fusible links. So this is where I mounted the relay box. It's directly on the driver's side. And I mounted it in a way where we could access uh, the relays and the fuses if we had to just pull this cover off. But this is where the inlet for the power wires go. Now, I really didn't explain to you why I had to cut off the uh, relay harness with the lights, but since this box has a relay in it already there wasn't no need to use a relay on the switch that they provided in the relay in the box itself so basically what i did is i cut all of those wires directly off even the plugs they uh, supplied with their lights and ran the power wires directly into this box here and ran all the grounds to my main ground uh, distribution location on the golf cart now if you had a vehicle and you did not have this box or a golf cart or ATV or whatever, then I would have used those relay wiring harnesses that they included with their kits. Now not included with the kit was these roll bar mounts here that I used to mount the pods with. These uh, bars are one and a half inch bars. So I was able to find a company on Amazon that sold these right here and I'll place a link in the description below. So it comes with different size rubbers to go between the bars. And I think it'll fit a one, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarter, and maybe two inch. They have a longer uh, outpost here and they have a shorter one. This right here outpost will rotate and it has a lock screw right there and on the other side as well. I use the same ones here also so very easy to install and basically just put the rubber between it it's got two uh, bolts in here one here and one right there clamp it together on top of the bar then i just went and started bolting all of my brackets to it 
on this front light bar here, I ran the wires inside the tube and it's going through the tube. And this one right here and the one on the other side are going through the tube also right here. I got them coming through the tubes and out down here behind the seat. Overall, I'm happy with this uh, install. Uh, went went fairly well. The What took the longest was running like all the wires inside the tubes. All right guys, here is the uh, six gang panel. First switch is gonna be the amber running lights, which you won't be able to really tell. I'm just gonna turn those on right now. And the amber lights are on. You really can't see those. No, I can't. The second one is going to be the headlights. You can see those. Yep, see a little bit better. The third is going to be the light bar. And we're probably going to have to cycle it once to get it out of the LED RGB mode back into the light mode. That's the RGB mode. That's the light, light mode. This is with the LED light pods on. And this is with the LED light pods off. Tail lights, brake lights, there's the tail lights and the light pods. 